Introduction to the Japji Sahib The Japji Sahib is the initial prayer found within the Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, which is the eternal Sikh Guru and the guidance for millions of Sikhs around the world. The prayer is a crown jewel and is recited daily by millions of Sikhs around the world. It takes on average only 25 minutes to recite. However, once you start to delve into the definitions of each word and the commentary of the text, you realize it has a depth that no one has yet been able to find. This prayer came into existence by the founder of the faith, Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji manifests on the earth in order to assist the beings of the world. He had to prevent religious falsehood by challenging the Sids. The Sids were performing miracles and making the people worship them rather than God. In order to prevent the worship of the Sids, he went to the Samir mountain where they resided. Through a dialogue of questions and answers, the Sri Japji Sahib was created. Siddhan Sang Chacha Hamkini, Tabe Uchara Japparbini. With the Sids, I held a dialogue, and because of this, the Sri Japji Sahib was uttered. Page 679 of the Sri Gurmukh Prakash. The Japji Sahib was later put into the order that it is now found within the city of Kartarpur by Baba Lenaji. This was when a group of wandering saints came to the city and asked what the Mala Mantra, a mantra which is recited with a rosary, was for this new faith. Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji told Baba Lenaji that it was the Japji, which was a dialogue that took place with the Sids. This treasure was then bestowed to Baba Lenaji, who was asked to put the prayer into a logical order. Gur Angad Ji Seva Karhi Gur Nanak Agya Manathirhi Vairagi Jamaat Ai Ikabari Mala Mantra Bujyotin Pari Siri Angad Gur Nanak Pachai Satgur Japa Sahib Mukagai Siddhana Sangchacha Hamakini Tabe Uchara Japarbini Japji Sahib Puri Kartara Gur Angad Prata Prabhu Uchara Number Var Pauriya Banavai Pure Kakiya Sab Purai Guru Nanak Guru Angad Devji came to the service of Guru Nanak Devji and through his will was able to control his mind. One day a group of wandering saints came to Kartarpur and asked what the Mala Mantra was of his new faith. Siri Guru Angad Devji asked Siri Guru Nanak Devji this question. And he sang the Sri Japji Sahib from his mouth and stated, With the Sids I held a dialogue, and because of this, the Sri Japji Sahib was uttered. The Japji Sahib was then completed at Kartarpur Sahib, where the Lord, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, uttered it to Sri Guru Angad Dev Ji, and explained that this was the Mala Mantra. The stanzas were then placed in numerical order, and with this task, he completed the most complete of prayers. Page 679 of the Sri Gurmukh Prakash. In this way, the Sri Japji Sahib came into existence and is found in its form today. The prayer is not compiled of a discourse that took place in one location and specific time, but from a number of discourses with different spiritual personalities in history. The other theory is that the prayer was uttered by Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji in the presence of Brahm whilst in Sachkhand. Either way, the divine scripture came into existence for the benefit of all six in the world.